My name is Gilberto de Bellian. I'm broadcasting this lecture from Oslo. The first one, it's going to be the internal root canal anatomy. Without knowing the internal root canal anatomy, it's going to be very difficult for you as a clinician, us as a researchers, to make clinical protocols to you in order to clean the root canal adequately. Uh, on the biological area as well, I think uh, one thing that we should realize it is that we are trying to prevent and to treat or to treat a disease which is apical periodontitis. In order for us to achieve this biological success, we have to be successful in controlling the infection. So the first one, it's the question is the ideal access cavity is uh, as small as practical discover the canals, to uh, review the canals entrance, and also to start to do the first preparation of the coronal part, taking some of the constriction of the canal entrance, almost like a pre-flaring -pre of the canal. Allowed us to maintain the curvatures, the internal root canal anatomy, uh, and then create a glide path. 15 movements, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that goes beautifully to the working lab. Now, these two gutta persia, they are coated with, with the bioceramic uh, layer. The major problem of a thermoplast technique to try to fill the root canal three-dimensionally, it is that the gutta persia and the sealer can shrink upon uh, the moment the materials start to cool down. So here it's definitely a, a combination of the shaper and finisher. We don't know if the shaper is going to work better than the finisher, but the combination of the two is extremely important. I want you to finish to invite you whenever you wanted to come out uh, of your countries or your institutions and come to Oslo and train uh, some of these techniques together with us. We run three different courses, uh, module one, two, and three, which is microsurgery courses. And so we are in our facility here in uh, Oslo. Thank you for your attention.